hello and welcome back to another video in this uh, property grass video series so uh, in this uh, notebook we'll look into building property graph with a well defined schema and we'll use neo4j olama and uh, hugging base embedding models and olama mistral instruct model uh, for creating the uh, property graph using a schema llm extractor as well so let's get started with it uh, yeah let's uh, uh, have the setup first and then download the data polygram is a text and load it we'll use schema llm path extractor as said for the schema uh, llm extractor uh, uh, we fix the entities relations and uh, what kind of our relations possible between the entities right so here are the entities uh, that are allowed and then relations that are allowed and then um, have a validation schema so uh, you can provide this in the form of list so for easier understanding here is what I have written so person can have these relations place can have these relations and then organization can have these relations uh, which means so this is the validation schema that can be uh, and so organization has person person worked at organization person worked with uh, person person worked on organization uh, person part of organization organization part of organization person worked at place Right, so th these are the different relations uh, possible. I mean, uh, and it's a validation schema. And then um, you can have simple uh, schema LLM path extractor here. So yeah, we haven't defined. Yeah, we need to import this and then define this. And then next, uh, we need to set up the Neo4j. Let's set it up. So. then so clear it up sorry yeah let's set this near 4 j ah this is started so and then you can have so now since it is set up so we'll uh, with it and have a simple vector store and then uh, neo4j property graph store and then we'll have the property graph index created um, this might take some time because uh, we are using uh, olama and uh, local embedding models so it might take almost 10 minutes probably maybe depends on the your uh, configuration of the system Okay, now that uh, your uh, property graph is set up, uh, next we'll set up the uh, retrievers, right? So that uh, you can build the, I mean, start querying. And uh, since we have two retrievers, LLM synonym retriever and vector uh, context retriever, okay, we use this embedding model. And then um, define the retriever and you can start uh, asking querying the retriever basically so this is what we got for this uh, uh, for the query what happened at return leaf uh, the retriever uh, retrieved these nodes okay and then we'll have the query engine with the set of retrievers and then lemma and ask the same query what happened at interleaf so interleaf is often the develop Polygram worked on this project for them. Eventually, something occurred that led to a significant impact of interleaf being crushed by Moore's law. So, that's how you can uh, define your uh, uh, predefined schema extractor and then uh, different retrievers with uh, and also uh, LLM, Olama, Mistral, Instruct, and then uh, OSS embedding model and then create the property graph index with the Neo4j and then start. Uh, uh, querying using the defined retrievers and also uh, for generation part this video see you in the next video thank you